Emma, are you watching this movie? Uh, Nick, do you know where your controller's at? Emma. Emma. What? Excuse me? Can you please come turn this down or bring me dad's controller so I can turn it off? Please. And that's fine. But I need to do this real quick. Thank you. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I haven't done this in a very, very, very long time, so I'm a bit out of practice. Oh, my eye itches. Oh, sorry. Wonder if I move this way a little. There we go. Yes. Definitely a long time no see. My last podcast was three months ago. So, yeah. And I don't even know how long it's been since I've done a little crochet and chat or st stitch with me or whatever. It's been a while. I feel like my shirt is just... It's like right at my zipper, so it looks like I don't have anything on. Hello. I see there are people on, but they aren't talking. <laughs> Or they could be bots. I don't know. What are you doing? So how have I been? I have been good. Busy, but good. Um, I'm not going to lie. I got burnt out on crafting for quite some time after Christmas because I just, I made so much stuff for everyone that when it came to doing things for me and my family, I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> and I just lost all mojo. <laughs> um, but 
a lot has happened. Um, main one is, I'm not sure if I've put it on here or not, but I now work at Michael's Craft Store. So that has been keeping me pretty busy. It's part time, but hey, money is money. And it's more, it's not so much about the money for me. It's more like I get to get out of the house three to four days a week. Hey, hey. It has been some time. Let me just move this on this side. Dream job, all that yarn. And you know what? It's so funny. Now that I work at Michael's, I find myself less willing to spend my money on yarn. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I see that there's not really anything new at the moment. Well, no, I take that back. There was some new yarn that came in, and it's like a cottony yarn that's come in. Oh, man, I can't remember. I think it's called, like, Cream Cotton by Loops and Threads. And I picked some of that up because I'm going to make washcloths. That's not what this one is. But I'm trying to get rid of some of the cotton stash if you will, by making dishcloth, wa mainly washcloths, because I don't use these for dishes. Um, mainly washcloths for the kids and me. But I will tell you one thing, if I'm out on the floor and the yard aisle is a mess, I will be the first to go over there and fix it because it drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm like, disrespect, so much disrespect to the yarn. <laughs> really? I haven't seen all that much new stuff um, in ours. I'm not sure. Some people's Michaels are better than others in like certain areas in other Michaels is bigger than others. Velvet Baby and some 70s yarn. Okay, that kind of sounds familiar. I know the Velvet Baby, but I thought that had already come out, but I could have been wrong. Um, and I think I know what 70s yarn you're talking about. It's kind of like shaggy looking and kind of funky colors. Yeah, okay. So it isn't new to me because I've literally seen it for the last, I would say, month or so. But then, yeah. Like I said, like some Michaels, people have really large yarn selections where others don't. It's kind of like what sells best in that area. What do you do? Yeah. My kids are still awake because we're supposed to get snow and they're very excited and can't sleep. Shh. Ow. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of. Can you go throw this in the um, recycling trash? There's no snow yet. It's not supposed to start snowing until like 2 o'clock in the morning. What did you just say? Bye. Did you want to put... Oh, he just woke up from a nap. Oh. I was going to say, did you want to put him to bed? Yeah, Colin ended up falling asleep at like five. Five. If my kids used that excuse, we wouldn't get any sleep. Yeah, well, we don't get snow all that often. So <laughs> it's very rare they get to use that excuse. Plus, Colin fell asleep at like 
five something on the couch. Why? Something like that. And woke up not too long ago. So he's like charged up and ready to go. So it's one of those nights. Do you want to say hi? Hi. No, with your face, bud. He shit himself. Bye. Can you really not say that that loud? Are you live? Yes. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, now go. You need your... Can you stop? Unnecessary. So how is everyone doing? We haven't chatted in a while. I hope... I don't know if I want to do like the full-on podcasts anymore. I love the format of people coming on and doing like quick 15 minute updates like, hey, this is what I'm currently working on or hey, this is what I finished in the last week. Like just quick informal updates. It's not like super structured. Yeah. Last time on... Um, there was a girl playing with me, and I said, don't touch my stuff, I'm going to be right back. And I actually touched her stuff. Okay. <laughs> Emma likes to confess things to me. Excuse me. Kids, exactly. She's like, I don't know what it is about this age. So she just turned seven 11 days ago. And yeah, she's just, anytime she does something wrong or anytime she just does anything, she has to let me know. How did your club go? Oh, are you talking about the yarn and candle club? Not well. Basically, I made no money on it because um, I had to re. I thought I still had all my candle making equipment. And then as I'm looking for everything, it hit me that I left it in the cabinet above the. Um, Mom, I hit my head. You hit your head. No, Daddy's is way funny. Daddy's way funny. Oh, Daddy's funny? Yeah, I want to sit with You want to sit with me? Yeah. Okay, I guess. So, I ended up leaving it at our old house in Virginia, which meant I had to repurchase a lot of things. Where are baking? Shh, to get it. Your mouth is gross. So, I had to repurchase pretty much everything to make candles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ended up costing me more to yeah. do it than actually, yeah, I didn't really make money. Hello. Hello. Had surgery on Christmas Eve on my left heel, finally getting back on my feet and just found out my mother-in-law has a tumor. Oh Mom. my gosh. Mom. Christmas was a good and really crappy time here, too. Um, Mom. What? We opened our presents. Yeah, we did open presents. But We're Emma good. was really sick. And really we sick. couldn't figure out I what really it was. Shh. And we took her to the ER before Christmas. And she kept complaining she had a headache. And it had gone on for, like, a few days. He is getting big. He is. He's a handful, too. Um, and we took her to the ER, which I think this is another reason why it took me so long to come back. Um, just because it was a lot of stress. So she ended up getting sick. We took her to the ER. They basically told us she was sick. Take her home. You know, drink lots of water. Keep. Let her rest. All that good stuff. 
But after, you know, five days, six days of her complaining about a headache, and this was the day after Christmas, I was able to get her into the doctors. They actually had to do a CAT scan on her head or a CT scan. Yeah, a CAT scan. And basically found that the whole right side of her face and her sinuses were completely clogged. And she had sinusitis, which is a severe sinus infection that can work its way into the brain. And when we went in there, they were talking surgery off the bat. But they wanted to do really aggressive antibiotics first. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to snow tonight, bud. So that... We were in the hospital with her for a week. Where hospital? Well, I was. I was. So. No, I was. No, I was. No, I was. <laughs> You're silly. No, I was. So that was very stressful because she's never had IVs. She's never had blood drawn. Well, at least not like that. She, you know, they've done like the finger prick on her and stuff like that to make sure she wasn't anemic. And I she mean, was I a baby. Mean, I get but. Mean. Baby's milk. Baby's sick. Are you just taking over the show right now? No. When baby's sick, baby's sick. Yeah, when the baby was really sick? Yeah. Okay. So, I think that in itself, and that happened oh, right after Christmas. Baby. We spent our New Year's in the hospital. So, that was not fun um, and very stressful. <laughs> Why? So, Same. yeah, and on top of that, I was just starting a new job, and it was very, very stressful. And it just, I tried to knit and crochet, and it's just, this one time, it was not my outlet. <laughs> hey, Mom. What? Where can I Grandpa? You're going to find Grandpa? No, Grandpa's in our house. No, Grandpa's at his house. No. Well, Grandpa's got our house. Grandpa at our house. Mm hmm. Do you want to go color with Dad? Uh, I I said I can't get a toy. You can't get a toy? No, I can't. That's because you have a lot of toys. I want to buy a toy. Do you got money? Uh,. Daddy has money. Daddy has money. <laughs> You're silly. I don't have my money in my pocket. I don't have money in my pockets either. I have got money in Dad's pocket. Why don't you go color? Well, as Dad's busy going bus barring. Mm. Dad said I can't buy toys. I know you can't buy toys. Can I buy, buy toy, Mom? No. Why? Because you need money. I need money. Buy money. Money buy my toy? Yeah, can you just... Yes. I need to buy my, my money and my toy. <laughs> they said hi. Hi. <laughs> no, keep it out of your mouth if you're going to talk. We can't understand. So I bought my toy money. <laughs> <laughs> I bought my money by buying my toy. Yeah. So will that toy come back? Toys come back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And when my toys go to Wendy, it's a fly away. Oh, when it's Wendy, your toys will fly away. Yeah. Toys by way. Well, that's why we don't leave our toys outside, huh? Yeah. Got to put them away. Yeah, put them away. (laughs) (laughs) So when my pinky flies away. Oh, your pinky flies away. And when I put my pinky on home, it does that. My pinky. Hey, Austin. I've been good. And we can't buy my spider. Life has been keeping we me can't busy. Buy my spider. He's three. He turned three in November. I'm three. You're three. I'm three. 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 I'm three. Like this. Go. Like this. And you hold it like. I'm 
Every. Like that. Three. Every. <laughs> Guys, three. And Emma's three. No, Emma's seven. Emma's seven. Yeah. Guys, seven. Why don't you go color with Dad and Emma? Guys, seven. You want to go color? No, guys, seven. No, Dad is 28. 28. Yeah. So, I want to buy my toy right now. No toys right now. Please, Mom. Not right now. Please? No. <laughs> Please, Mom. No. Please? I am excited. I am so excited about something. Why are uh, you so excited about I want to buy toy. Okay, you, why don't you go play with your toys? And go play with, go color with Dad. I want to buy a toy. Okay, no, we can't buy a toy right now. No, buy a toy. Okay. <laughs> Can I buy Spider-Man? I think your Spider-Man is in the car. Honey, yeah. I want to watch one of your um, YouTubes. Not right now. No, I'm going to find that. My phone is dead, so you would have to do it on Dad's. I don't know why, but Emma really likes to watch me when I'm live, which I don't understand. If you saw my recent podcast, I'm getting some enamel pens manufactured as we speak. Only 50 being made. Ooh, fun. I have not been watching podcasts. I have like, like YouTube has not, I haven't been watching anything. Hey, Mom. What, bud? Get my scooter. Okay, no scooter. Go play. Okay, Mom. Mom, where's your videos? Over here. Bring me the phone. <coughs> oh, dang it. I forgot to do the... Oh, excuse me. I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. Hi. Hi! I know, I've been gone forever. And Emma's face has been gone forever, too. What is this called again? Sleepy. Molly. You are being <coughs> crazy. I'm taking your scooter. No! Do not take his scooter, Emma. No! Don't be a butt. Huh. So, how is everyone? What are we working on? Nope, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear an echo of myself. Oh. Meaning, go in another room. Please. Thank you. Oh, she is a handful. My kids are a handful. I'm trying to knit my first sweater. Ooh, fun. I'm trying to knit my first sweater. Ooh, fun. Five sweater sets. I have to get done. Wow. Good for you. Bye. Have a good night. Five sweater sets. Dang. Go, girl. Get it. I wish I was getting that kind of traffic. But I've been so dead on social media that I'm pretty sure everyone is like, dude, Hello, guys. where are you gone? Okay, go, please. I don't want to hear myself. Cloak by Bag of Day Crochet. Ooh, okay. Maybe one for September. Next. 
No, I don't want to hear myself. Go away. I don't want to hear myself. <coughs> Go away. I bought a sweater and I like the shape and trying to make it based on the sweater I own. Emma, stop. No, I listen to me. I don't want to hear myself echo, please. So either go in the kitchen or go in your room. You're only coming in here so you can make noise so you can hear yourself. <sighs> it's funny because in person, my kids, well, Emma does not like attention on herself. But as soon as I get on here, it's like she wants to steal the show. <laughs> Yeah, so I. Come on, come what? Here, no, not right now, bud. What's this, mom? I'm watching. Mom, come here. I'm watching. Come here, mom. No. You Nick, you want to help a sister out here? Thank you. The other grandparents took two grands, and I live with overnight. House is so quiet. Isn't that nice, though, when you have a nice, quiet house once in a while? Sounds like my grandson and grandpa. Yeah, they're just old. I never get quiet. <laughs> like, ever. The only way I get quiet is if I stay up after everyone goes to sleep. Which is almost impossible. What? Then go in there. Emma, get out of the way so he can ride his scooter, please. <sighs> so that's why I got a job. <laughs> Which is not quiet at all because, you know, I work at Michael's and I feel like we're always busy. And I'm a cashier, so I'm constantly talking to people. But at least it's adults. Granted, some of them might be a little crazy or rude. <laughs> but it gives me a break from the kids. Any new colorways coming? Um, hopefully... I have not dyed any new yarn lately, and I need to, but it's just been so busy because every week, so every Saturday I have worked this month, and then every other Sunday. So the days that I typically would dye are on the weekends because Nick is home, so he can kind of keep an eye on the kids for me, but... Yeah, that hasn't been happening lately. Yay! And, you know, I don't want to spend my Sundays when that's the only day I can spend with Nick dyeing yarn and standing in the kitchen for eight hours. So it just hasn't happened lately. But I need to get some in there. My kids are grown and my husband is a truck driver. My nights are quiet. I can imagine. Is he like a long haul truck driver or like? local truck driver because I know those ones that you know do the cross country they could be gone for like a week or two that's a long time I'm also excited about tomorrow with Jeffrey's bloodlust palette oh my gosh I want that palette but it is expensive so I probably won't because I love wearing purple eyeshadows. Oh, I want it so bad. I didn't I didn't do the blue blood because it's blues and I don't do blue. Because he's gone two weeks at a time. Excuse me. That wind is kicking up. Crazy. There's nothing on the front porch that can fly away, is there? 
What about that little red chair? Is it still out there? Or is that in the garage? Hold on. I have to check to see if this red chair is outside or not, because if it is, it's going to fly away. So give me one. Oh, it's all wet. Why do you need that chair? Because I don't want it to fly away. There we go. Now my seat. <sighs> we had cold, hard cold wind last night. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting a snowstorm tonight. I say that like we're going to be getting like, you know, two feet of snow, which we're not. We're supposed to get like one to three inches. Bad down the hatches, pretty much. That's the only thing I'm worried about flying away because it's plastic and it's super light. So I'll just pop it in the house for tonight. But we have been dying for snow. Ooh, that sounds like so much fun, Austin. Yeah, that's what we were to to get two nights ago. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping we get more than three inches because you know winter has not really has not wanting to, not wanting to show up in North Carolina. Nope, we had a dusting, then rain, sleet, hail, now ice covered yard. That's probably what we're going to get. So, yeah. It's been really frustrating because we've been sick so many times because the weather has gone from, you know, being in the low 40s in the day, and then the next day it's almost 80. So, Mother Nature just needs to chill out. <laughs> like, chill, girl. <laughs> Go meditate. Just pick a season with, please. It's been kind of driving me nuts. And I think that's another reason why I haven't wanted to knit or crochet either. Because the weather has been so flip-floppy. It hasn't felt like winter. You don't get that same, ooh, I'm knitting or crocheting on a cold winter day. Like, no, it's 76 degrees outside. So that's been frustrating. Oh, I like the, the way this color is turning out. You can't see it. It is. I swear, webcams on laptops really stink at showing colors. Oh. Come here. Mr. Banks wants to say hello or not. Wow, a collaboration with Bad Wolf Girl Studios. That's awesome. I love Meg. She is super sweet. I got to meet her a couple years ago at a trunk show in Virginia. She is so nice. You're not Nelly. You're Bink. Yes. Yes. Kitty, kitty. You're so thinking cute. You're so thinking cute. 
I'll put you down, even though I know you're comfy. But I can't work on my washcloth. So, so the colorway is basically inspired by Blue Bud's palette. But all I want to say about it. I can't wait to announce it next month. That's like, super exciting. So I am not super political in any means. Let's just um but <laughs> I watched the um, <laughs> Democratic debate last night. Did any? Well, I watched it this morning, like the replay on Facebook. Did anybody see that? And I'm laughing because all I can think about is Elizabeth Warren tearing Bloomberg a new one. Like, it was hysterical. I mean, pretty much everyone tore him a new one on that stage, but it was funny. You all right, Emma? Yeah. So is anybody watching anything new? trying to learn to knit it is very slow going i yeah it was when i first started too when i yeah when i started i just tried doing just normal knit back and forth so like garter stitch so many holes and i couldn't figure out why but i kept yarning over and not realizing it 
and it was just a mess. YouTube is a big, big, big help when you first start learning to knit. Okay, can we stop talking about that? Me? Yeah. I'm watching The Masked Singer. I watched the first season of that and I really liked it. I have not watched season two or three. Or is there a season three? No, season three is coming. Yeah, I haven't watched season two yet, but I need to. I knit and crochet since I was 12. Hard holding tension in left hands had since stroke. That sucks. Yeah, that I can imagine that is hard to deal with. I loved Mass Singer. The first one was really good. I, well, no. Okay, I take it back. I watched the first, maybe the second episode of season two. So I need to watch it. It's, it's really good. But you already know that. <laughs> Kids are having a meltdown. Oh, good gravy. I seem to add stitches. Yeah, so you're probably yarning over in between a stitch. That is typically what I was doing, and it's the easiest way that people add stitches. Because that was the problem I had, is I kept adding stitches, and then I would end up with, like, a hole. If you're not getting a hole... then you're probably picking up like a center bar in here, not knowing, and you're adding an extra stitch without necessarily getting a hole. No holes. So probably then my guess would be in here there's this bar that somehow you're picking up without realizing it maybe. That would be my only guess. There is in granny squares. Yes, there are holes in granny squares. <laughs> K 
kids are having a meltdown over scooters. I don't think this live will be as long as my usual ones of like two hours. It's probably going to be a short one. I find continental style easier. Yeah, so I'm a continental knitter. I hold my yarn in my left hand and then I throw my yarn, which is a lot easier than doing it with my right hand and throwing. So I try, so I push it and I turn. Okay. So I would just run Careful. I just, I tried knitting English style and it hurt my shoulder, which is weird. But the mo motion of doing this, it was in the shoulder where, or otherwise thro called thrower. Well, thrower is the way you, th like your yarn. There are, so even if you're, an English knitter, you can still, is it called flick or something, your yarn where you just kind of, you don't take your hand off the needle. So English style is holding the yarn in the right hand and continental is left, where thrower is either you take your hand off the needle to throw or you flick. Yeah, so you are an English knitter. But a thrower is like the method you use of using the yarn. Which I am a continental thrower because I lift my hand up off the needle. I don't just flick, move my finger. Yeah, if you can't hold tension in your left, then it's kind of hard to be a continental knitter. It was just easier for me to be continental because I learned to crochet first. So continental knitting just came easier where English knitting was a lot harder. It took a lot more brain power for me to do English style. <clears throat> so Emma set up a ramp. <laughs> in our kitchen on a dumbbell and a two by four. <laughs> and she has a two wheeled scooter that she can go over it. Well, Collins is a three wheeled scooter. <laughs> He's getting so mad <laughs> that he can't go over the board. <laughs> That's literally like this far, far off the ground. That's funny. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Call him. He is so upset. Well, I think that is my cue to go this time. Um, I got to help little one manage his emotions. So thank you all for coming and chatting with me. Um, next time it'll be longer. Hopefully it won't be such a long gap of when I do this. Um, hold on. And hopefully podcasts probably won't be as formal as they used to be. And... We will probably just do some informal crochet catch-ups, I guess you could say. Just real quick videos. So, y'all right over there. Yeah. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching and chatting with me. Bye.